Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is about some students who were punished for wearing a confederate flag telling black kids to go back to Africa. You know how the racists do, they always say that to black Americans. Now, to me, that's a whole lot of gall and a lot of nerves considering the fact that it was because of black people who built up this nation why you're allowed to live as nicely as you do white people so to ask black people to go back to Africa when we were stolen and kidnapped from that continent this here the United States of America is our home it's our country we don't have to go anywhere if anyone should be leaving it should be you you white man and woman should be going back to the caves of Europe if anybody is to go you should go first then maybe others will follow your lead. But anyways, a group of high school students in Sewell, New Jersey have reportedly been reprimanded for wearing Confederate flag shirts and harassing black students with racial slurs. During the Gloucester County Institute of Technology Spirit Week, which began on November 1st, several students decided to hold a silent protest on what was scheduled to be America Day at the school. Instead of wearing red, white, and blue, students wore black to protest the racism and demand equality at their school, NewJersey.com reports. Their protest stirred controversy on social media as some students criticized it for drawing attention away from Spirit Week. One student then urged his Snapchat followers at the school to wear the Confederate flag on Thursday in response. So family, here is that message. I'm going to read it to you. Disregard all the spelling errors. You know how racists are. White supremacists, they're dumb, stupid, and ignorant. They don't know how to spell, much less put words in a sentence to mean anything. Anyways, on this it says, or supposedly, to those who own Confederate flag clothing or flags, please wear them to school tomorrow. They can't even spell tomorrow. Wear don't even know how to put words right we're supporting the south this is not a racial profiling they they were black for black lives matter they wore black is what it should say they're so stupid they were black for black lives matter we have the right for confederate flags whatever that word is it's supposed to be confederate they're just stupid like i said and then it ends off saying, like I said, when we unite, it's a problem. No, what's a problem is your stupidity and ignorance. That's always been the problem with white so-called superiority, a.k.a. white inferiority complex. That's always been your problem is your haters. You don't know anything else to do but to hate. You hate yourselves, so it's easy for you to hate everyone else. We get it, but I digress. Well, members of the African American Culture Club gathered screenshots of the polls and reported it to school authorities and sent a statement to local NAACP chapter president Loretta Winters. The statement also notes that during the backlash, black students were called derogatory names and told to go back to Africa. I've already covered this part on the go back to Africa, but I do have a statement I want to ask, a question to all the black families mothers and fathers out there, the parents, are you preparing your kids on how to respond to racist crap like this on the school campus? Are you teaching your kids how to respond to racism? Are you giving them the tools on how to properly respond without using their fists and fighting or shooting? Are you being smart enough to teach your kids how to respond? The reason why I ask is because my parents did not. You know why they didn't? They told me why they didn't. They told me because they didn't think that I, myself or my sister would have to go through this kind of thing. So they didn't teach us how to respond to racism. It's something I had to learn on my own, same with my sister. So I'm asking you guys out there, are you teaching your kids how to respond to racism? That's an important question. Anyways, it continues by saying many have been called the N-word to their face. The students said in a statement, 
Someone was told if they don't like discrimination, they should bleach their skin. And others have simply been spit on. Principal James Dundee sent a letter regarding the incident to parents on Friday. Now, what's funny about that is here it is the school principal sending a letter to the parents. To the parents of races who probably condone that type of behavior. They taught their kids how to be that way. And you're sending letters to the very parents who taught their kids how to be that way. That's interesting. But anyways, it goes on to say that, quote, the school district and the school administration want to be very clear that there is no tolerance for prejudicial comments, remarks, racism, or hatred in our school, Dundee wrote. All students found to be involved in the incident and in the events leading up to the incident have been dis disciplined per the student code of conduct and several harassment, intimidation, and bullying reports have been filed with the district's HIV coordinator. It continues, the Confederate flag is to the black community as the swastika is to the Jewish community, Winter said. It's the flag used by the KKK and they're a terrorist group. People need to be educated on what the Confederate flag stands for and what it means. How do you support that? Question mark. How do you support any terrorist group? Question mark. Well, it's because white people are terrorists. They're known terrorists. Haven't you been paying attention to what's been going on in the news with all the mass shootings and whatnot? They've been known terrorists. So what do you mean? How do you support that? How do you support any terrorist group? White people have been supporting terrorist groups since they've been uh, waving these Confederate flags and whatnot. So with that, let's go to a little bit of his history uh, on the Confederate flag. And this is taken from a history, a black history reader by Dr. Claude Anderson. He writes something very important. He says that the terrorist nation split in two in 1861, when the southern states seceded from the Union, formed the Confederate States of America with its own flag and fired on American troops at Fort Sumter, South Carolina. Confederate troops killed American soldiers. I'm going to repeat that. Confederate troops killed American soldiers. Dishonored old glory, our flag, the American flag, the flag of the United States of America and became the first terrorist the first terrorist okay attack the country to attack the country this attack ignited a civil war against the nation and the confederate flag became the symbol of that terrorism I'm gonna repeat and the Confederate flag became the symbol of that terrorism. So white people are sitting here boasting about the Confederate flag, wanting to, to, to fly the Confederate flag, dishonoring America. You guys are traitors. You're traitors. And all of these traitors at this school wearing the Confederate flag, they should be expelled. They sh their asses should be sent home and expelled from school. They're traitors. So, let it be known that these people who want to fly the Confederate flag, you guys are so dumb, ignorant, and stupid to be traitors of your own country. You're pathetic and disgusting. You should be going back to the caves of Europe where you came from. Get out of America. You're not wanted. You're a terrorist and we don't want you here. You're telling black people to go back to Africa? Well... We happen to build this nation. We happen to build this country. It's our country. You leave. You go back to Europe. You didn't do anything here anyways but destroying it. So you go back to Europe. Case closed. This is Guru. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love to you and yours. We'll see you in the next video. Again, black parents, teach your kids on how to properly respond to these terrorists.